give us, you know, spacing on the floor. I think it, uh, it was an effort to unlock JK and Wiggs, you know, give them driving lanes and, you know, get them more involved early in the game. Obviously, Miami is, they're really kind of sneaky in some of the defensive schemes they have and zone, man, uh, you know, different coverages, bam, protecting the rim. So it was helpful to have, you know, Clay out there doing what he does. Um, and it's a credit to him just in general and being able to respond to whatever he's been asked to do this year, uh, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's starting. Uh, most people think that might be, I don't know, maybe they think it's easy to just transition from one to the other, and it's not. You have to kind of prepare your mind to, you know, uh, and your body to be ready for whatever you know is thrown at you. So it's credit to him and his 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 attitude and his preparation and you know going out there and hooping the way he does. Steph, you guys held the Heat to 40% shooting in the second half, and I believe 37 combined points after them shooting about 51% in the first half. What was the biggest change for you guys on that side of the floor? Just playing a little bit more physical. We kept getting beat on. Back cuts and even whether they scored or not, it was causing our defense to have to react. And then they would open up a, either a three for somebody in a corner or uh, just a breakdown that would you know give them space. And I think we got a little bit more discipline in the second half. It's the NBA. There's so much talent out there. Obviously, they're missing a lot of guys. Um, but if you give you know them confidence and you know their patterns start to you know attack you. That's when they're they're lethal. I don't care who's out there. So we were very much more disciplined in the second half to keep things in front of us, make them take tough shots, and you live with it. Steph, the Bam's talked about in the past. There was a play in his rookie year where he was guarding you, and it was kind of the play that put him on the defensive map. I'm just wondering what number one, if you remember that play, and two, just what, what are the ways you've seen him develop defensively and, and kind of matching up in that way. I do remember that play for sure. It was in this building. Uh, he's he's versatile. He's long. He can move his feet. He, he's obviously a great rim protector. And, you know, there's a reason they've been in the finals twice. Uh, obviously, you know what Jimmy's able to do and the, the guys around him, but Bam's a huge part of connecting the game on both ends. He's obviously a great uh, weapon on the, on the offensive end with his – 